What's going on, everybody? It's your boy C4 here today. Continue with our 2016 NFL Mock Draft Series. We will be looking at the 30th overall pick, which is held by the Carolina Panthers. Last year, the Panthers went 15-1 and in the regular season with the first-ranked offense and sixth-ranked defense. The emergence of Mr. Cameron J. Newton at the quarterback position was a revelation. Uh, the MVP of the league. Uh, I was surprised they still were able to have as productive offense as they did with a relatively no-name offensive line and no-name by receiving core. I mean, Ted Ginn, come on. I will be the first to admit that, you know, I, di I didn't write them off, and I definitely thought with that division they would compete. But, you know, without Kelvin Benjamin, I really didn't think they'd have much of an offense whatsoever, uh, let alone a run game. Jonathan Stewart was able to stay healthy, which was nice to see as he emerged as, you know, a top 10 running back in the league. And defensively, six, that's actually a little bit low. I would have thought they would have higher ranked defense. I'm taking these rankings from profootballreference.com. Uh, but, I mean, you know, obviously there's a lot of beach playmakers on that defense. Luke Keekley, Josh Norman, Kwan Short, uh, Star Latulale, Thomas Davis. I mean, there's playmakers abundance. So, for me... Top three in each of the Carolina Panthers in this year's draft is offensive tackle, defensive end, and defensive back. They were able to get Josh Norman to sign. I believe they franchise tagged him, so I mean that definitely helps their secondary short term. But I mean they did have Charles Tillman starting some games. Cortland Finnegan came in and played some bit, so I think they would be really wise to get another uh, good starting corner. Uh, defensive end, Charles Johnson came back, I believe, on a one-year deal. But, I mean, you need to find, you know, outside pass rush help. So, for me, some prospects they could look at is uh, Kevin Dodd from Clemson. I think uh, he would be a good pass rushing help. He really improved his stock in the championship games for Clemson. Uh, Eli Apple slash William Jackson, those are two corners that are, you know, definitely have first-round grades and could still be available at the end of this round if they slip a little bit. But, for me, the pick is going to be Emmanuel Ugba, the defensive end from Oklahoma State. He is one of the most scattered picks that I've seen this year's draft class. I've seen him go from anywhere from 10 to slipping out of the first round. So, it's really really tough to see where he'll go but he had a really really solid combine and he could be you know groomed as Charles Johnson potentials replacement um I think him and Coney Ely would kill in rotation for pass rushing help for the Carolina Panthers I, I don't think they got uh after the quarterback a whole whole lot uh obviously they're more of a zone defense that gets a lot of turnovers with their really really athletic linebackers and good secondary running in the zone schemes um but I can't. I don't think anyone had over ten sacks. Pardon me if I'm wrong, but I just off the top of my head, Charles Johnson usually is their premier uh, sacker. I know um, Kawan Short had quite a few sacks. He was my defensive lineman in fantasy football for for a little bit. So I don't really know what's going to go on there. But I think Ogba would be an excellent addition to add to that defensive line uh, and just really, you know, makes a sense. He sounds like a really Ron R Rivera pick. Can't really talk right now. But let me know what you guys think about this pick. If you agree, disagree, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.